Hey everyone, welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we'll be discussing what is Crew AI and we'll try to build a multi-agent system which is capable of doing planning, editing and writing. So we'll do a system where we'll have three agents which will be working in sync and we'll establish a system which will write a blog post for you. So uh, let's get started with what is Crew AI. So it is a tool that is used for building agents specifically. So there are few major components that are part of Crew AI. First is Crew, uh, which is the top level module, which will manage the agents, the task, the whole workflow. And then comes the AI agents, which will do the work. And then comes the process which will manage and collaboration patterns right between the agents and the tasks. And then comes the task itself, which is the objectives, the specific tools needed for performing that objective. Now, next comes the installation aspect, which is pretty simple. So what we'll be doing is we won't be using any closed source models which require API key. We'll be using Olama and the Olama setup is pretty simple. You just have to install Olama and then this will run on your local host 11434. Let me just open it here for you once. So localhost 134 and Olama is running. You will see it here. And it has a bunch of models here. So if I if you see Olama list, if I do Olama list, you will see all the bunch of models that is present in my system, including Llama 3.2, which uh, reasoning model like R1 and everything. So this is the setup for LLM. Okay, so we have to integrate Olama's model with the Crew AI. So we'll do that in the next step. So when it comes to Crew AI, we have to install Crew AI package and then we have to install Langchain Olama, which will integrate with Crew AI. So I'm not sure this is required. I don't think we need Langchain Olama. We just, we are good with Crew AI. So uh, once installation is done with Crew AI, we have to import the key modules, which is agent, then comes the task. Then comes Crew AI, which will combine task and agent, and then LLM, which will manage the uh, prompt and perform the task, and it will go in hand with agent. Okay, so next, so this is importing of packages. So here we declare Crew LLM, where we pass in our model, which is Llama 3.2, and the base URL that is it is running localhost 11434. So this is how you have to declare your LLM for Crew AI. So once the model is loaded, next is setting up the agent. So as I said, we'll be uh, developing three agents. One is the planner agent, which will plan the blog post. Next is the writer agent, which will write the blog post. And then comes the editor agent, which will edit the blog post that has been written by the writer. So here uh, we have the agent what is the role of the agent uh, what is the goal of the agent and what is the backstory of the agent and then you are having the llm now whatever it has to do it is it has to understand these things and then it has to plan for the blog post and these are certain parameters that you can set and try it out yeah so this is the for the planner agent you are working on a planning a blog article about the topic whatever the input query that we pass and you collect the information that helps the audience learn something, you make informed decision, you have to prepare a detailed outline. This is generally what you say to a planner, right? Who is about to write up a blog post. This is the same set of instructions that is given to him or her. So you give the same instruction to your agent as well. Now comes writer agent, which will write the blog post and similar to how you give an uh, instruction to a writer, you are giving the same set of instructions here and you are mentioning the role of the agent is the content writer write an insightful uh, factually accurate opinion piece about the topic next comes the editor agent and then which will edit the blog post that is written by the writer agent now here if you see everything is uh, using this llm whatever llama 3.2 now uh, we have talked about the three agents. Now these agents are supposed to do specific task and it has to do it certain way. Now the task definition for the agent is set here. Now this is the description for the uh, agent that it has to do, how it has to plan. This is for the planning part where you have to prioritize the latest trend, key players and noteworthy news on the topic, identify the target audience considering their pain points and the interest, 
develop a detailed content outline including the introduction key points and call to action include the seo keywords relevant data or sources so this is you are uh, saying it to the planner how it has to write the plan and what is the expected output and you are passing the planner agent now this is for planner next is uh, you have it for writer where you are passing the set of uh, description for it how it has to write the blog post and it is able to uh, ensure that this is similar to what you want uh, you, the instruction that you give to a writer right use the content plan to craft a compelling blog post so this is based on the plan that got generated you want to ensure you want to create the blog post out of it it has to uh, understand the plan and then write a blog post next is the editor agent which has to do grammatical error checks and uh, any of the controversial topics are there then you have to ensure that it is not present so that is one of the work of agent uh, editor agent so that will do this now the important step which is simple to understand which is to crew will try to combine the planner that is the agents and the task and then turn it into a crew object which is crew so here you have crew and then what we do is we test the crew by passing it a, like a kick off we kick off the multi agent by passing the input the input is comparative study of land graph auto gen crew ai for building multi agent system so let me run this so this is the content planner now basically this takes a lot of time because if you know we have three agents running planner agent writer agent editor agent so it has to plan how the blog post should look like so we are seeing that here now the writer will write the blog post that will take some time and the editor will edit the blog post so all these three steps will occur and we'll see the final result so here we have content planner and the task given to it and the content planner comes up with the specific content now i'll just click the scrollable element and if you see here this is the task given to content planner and it gave the what it is planning to write so this is the introduction the title will be like this and then subtitle will be like this and then the article description the target audience is 25 to 50 years old who are familiar with the programming language software development principle ai machine learning robotics autonomous system pain points are difficulty in building and limited knowledge need for scalable secure solution sources are research paper and industry paper so it has given a good plan to get started with the blog post so this whole uh, plan will be used by the next step so if you see here it is kind of uh, kind of well well written actually so it is conclusion is there call to action is there references there so this plan is sent to the content writer and it will use this plan to generate the blog post now this is the final answer it is given and you will see some of the examples for each of those tools and there is a comparative table that is being generated what is the future direction of the uh, tools multi agent system so it's quite well written uh, in the next step we'll explore the latest trends and the thought okay okay so it has done pretty well for writing the blog post now it is the editor's part so it will edit this blog post and it will generate the much more refined answer so this is the whole uh, multi agent system that got built with the help of it is like less than like 10 15 lines yeah the prompt is bigger but yeah it the whole code required is around only 10 to 15 lines to generate this whole multi agent system so you can look into the results by looking into tasks output i'll leave it up to you how you want to handle the results so yeah so with this we have built a very simple uh, but a very effective uh, multi agent system with crew ai so i hope you go and explore this thing yeah thank you for watching